Hello guys, today I have 2004 Chevy Suburban with a 5.3-liter engine uh, and it has over 100,000 miles on it. This truck has a little bit of misfire and uh, the, driver, the owner told me that the plugs and wires are original in this truck. So um, to rule out the ignition system, uh, I like to test the secondary ignition and um, this is a, a coil near plug system which means that every spark plug has its own coil but coil is actually uh, <coughs> the, there's, there's a, a spark plug wire between a coil and the, and the spark plug uh, so I'm using this uh, Snap-on Manage uh, MT2400 uh, this unit it's no longer supported by Snap-on but it's still useful on these kind of tests so uh, what we have this is the main unit and um, on the back, to do ignition uh, test, you got to have this ignition module. And to, to um, plug in the module, it just attaches these, these, these brackets. Got a bracket here and here, just kind of attaches to the back of the unit. And uh, the red lead uh, attaches to channel one. The black lead is attaches to channel three and four. And uh, now the uh, I have a uh, secondary ignition probe hooked up to my to my wire this guy here and it's hooked up to this wire here in the back okay so I'm gonna put it back up and I'm on the cylinder number two right now and uh, what I like to look is a uh, spark KV and uh, the reason I like to look at the spark KV is uh, I want to rule out anything outside of the combustion chamber if the spark KV goes up as we can see right now that means our problem is outside of the combustion chambers. That means our my, my compression is good. I don't have any mechanical issues on the on the engine. I have any I don't have any uh, fuel de delivery problem. My uh, my problem is in uh, in my uh, spark and uh, oh my hold on a second, turn it off. The battery is, is low. So actually, this is a good uh, now to to do. To uh, get to, to the menu, just uh, once I turn the unit on, it's going to uh, go to um, multimeter. You press yes, and uh, I'll show you guys how to go to um, your menu to, to ignition, uh, conventional ignition. And I'm, I know this is a coil and plug, but uh, to get this pattern, I have to go to conventional, and I'm just going to be attached to the uh, spark plug wire. So I'm going to press yes, and then I'm going to go down to uh, to um, uh, Spark KV. So ah, can't get this straight. And uh, now we can see that right now. Look at that. It goes to 6 KV right now. So uh, that that's my misfire right there. And I'm actually I'm going to shake the wire a little bit. When I, when I shake the wire, look what happens. So uh, now this is a uh, clear indication that my problem is in uh, in my uh, spark plug uh, wires. Look at that again, right there. Um, we can actually measure that and see if it happens again. I can uh... now if uh, you guys want to start learning about secondary ignition, or this is a very nice unit, you can get this on eBay for a couple hundred bucks. <clears throat> So I'm going to shake the water a little bit again. It's definitely intermittent. I got seven. Let's see if I can hold it out. All right. So, uh, okay, 6.5 kV. That is my uh, my uh, voltage there. So that's clear indication that we have a uh, problem outside of the uh, combustion chamber. So, uh, and this test, basically, what it allows you to do is, you know. Just 
you will cut down your, your your diagnostic. You know, you don't have to check for compression. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You know, basically, you just go straight to ignition and uh, check if you see any of these glitches. That's you got to actually take care of. You have to do tune up first, and then you know, if anything else is a problem, then you, you're gonna continue your diagnostic. But this is an easy easy way to uh, look at that right there. So um, now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna replace the wire on this uh, number two. Uh, cylinder and uh, we're gonna repeat the test again and see uh, what uh, if this is gonna get better or not okay so I'm just gonna I'm gonna change the spark plug um, you know of course the this we will need a spark plug as well but I just want to change the wire and repeat the test and see if uh, this uh, spark KV stabilizes. This is the old one. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the new plug in there. Two new new uh, wire. Okay, got everything hooked up again, and uh, let's start it up and see what we got. Headlights. Now you can see that uh, I don't have no more spikes. My uh, Spark KV it's pretty good right now. So I'm gonna shake the wire and see. If it... uh. I'm gonna shake the wire again and see whether. Pretty good. There's a little bit of spike, but before it was going over 5 kV. This is, and of course, you will need a spark plug as well. So, um, okay, guys. I mean, this is a uh, still very powerful tool. Uh, I have to say, if you want to do this on a coil and plug system, you're going to have a special adapters, and uh, I haven't used it on those kind of um, systems yet. I'm not sure how well it's going to pick up the uh, signal, but uh, on the on a uh, on the um, conventional and uh, collinear plug or or Ray spark system actually works works pretty good. So uh, all right, guys, you can see my uh, misfire is gone. We can wait a little bit longer just to make sure. But uh, this is uh, this is what needs to be done. So uh, okay, I think like. Uh, Okay, so this is like one of the adapters. This is for the Ford coil and plug, the older one. Uh, I don't even know if they make these for newer coil and plugs, but I do really like it. I mean, it's a nice little unit, easy to handle, pretty inexpensive. But uh, for uh, you know, for this kind of testing, it's actually pretty accurate. I mean, it was very easy, you know, to easy to, easy uh, test to do. So, okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Okay, guys, this is going to be a bonus uh, uh, video footage on the. Uh, this is actually 2011 uh, Tahoe, and I just put uh, had a uh, hundred thousand miles on it, uh, and I just uh, replaced the uh, spark plugs and wires. So I'm doing the same test. I wish I did it before, but we can tie in with uh, with this video. So um, uh, this is my um, uh, Spark KV. And when I rev it up, it's nice and stable. When I rev it up, it stays very, very small vari variations there. So uh, this is, I mean, if you work on GM cars, you know, they, they use this um, um, very spark system or, or um, uh, coronero plugs. 
I mean, this this little tool is awesome. It really is. I mean, if you uh, if your suspects are uh, plugs and wires, uh, I mean, using doing the, uh, the Spark KV is the way to go. You know, but by this test, uh, you will know that you're 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 misfiring. It's not engine related. It's not fuel related. It is in a in a in a in outside of the engine or spark plugs or wires or coil. Uh, so. Um, Alright guys, appreciate you watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.